What Trump did by inviting the Russians to invade our elections was worse than what Benedict Arnold did when he invited the British to invade West Point. The only difference is that Benedict Arnold's plan was discovered before it could be executed. Yet, the colloquial term for traitor is a Benedict Arnold. Someday, Benedict Arnold will only be known by history students, and the term Donald Trump will be referred to as a traitor. Oh, he's a real Donald Trump. Look out for him. You see, a democratic process is the foundation of our country, more valuable than West Point or Pearl Harbor or any tall towers. So you can rebuild a military base or you can rebuild tall towers, but when democracy is destroyed, there's no guarantee. So what Donald Trump did was worse than giving the Japanese the plans to Pearl Harbor. Worse than buying airline tickets for the 9-11 hijackers, and certainly a lot worse than giving the British the plans to West Point. And the Republicans who defend him are accomplices. Now imagine the alternate historical Donald Trump running in the 1940 presidential election against Franklin Roosevelt, who he calls Crippled Franklin. At <laughs> every campaign rally, he imitates a gimpy walk and gets the whole crowd to say, Stand on your own, Crippled Franklin! Stand on your own, Crippled Franklin! <laughs> now, the historical Donald has golf resorts and uh, hotels in Japan, so he knows the Japanese officials. And he has, uh, they have invested in his properties, and they launder money through him, which always serves him, and he's happy to do what they want. They're his kind of dictators. Now, the Japanese also have some films and uh, photos of him getting peed on by geisha girls, which he finds even more embarrassing than being considered a traitor. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, Trump suggests to them, why don't you guys invade Pearl Harbor, which would then help me in the upcoming elections, and when I'm elected, I will do away with that oil embargo that Roosevelt has. So, he, tell, he says, and I got some agents in Hawaii who can give you the plans. I sent them there to get the... Uh, Cripple Franklin's birth certificate. <laughs> so he's at some campaign rally a few weeks later and reporters ask him, what, what about the Japanese fleet in, in, invading Pearl Harbor? And Trump says, fake news, fake news. There was no attack on Pearl Harbor. Uh, but if there are Japanese planes bombing Pearl Harbor, I just want to say I've never been to Japan and I've never been to Hawaii. But why don't you guys bomb Cripple Franklin's boat while you're at it? Just joking, not joking, just joking, not joking. Okay, so what if it's, uh, maybe it's not the Japanese, maybe the Japanese aren't invading, maybe it's just some crippled Franklin's friend. I just want to say, he gets the whole crowd to say, bomb crippled Franklin, bomb crippled Franklin. The next day, while Roosevelt is giving his yesterday, December 7th speech, some Republican shouts, you lie! There was no invasion of Hawaii, we're going to have a congressional investigation to find out if there was an invasion and find out all about it. Then the elections are held, Donald Trump becomes the President of the United States. A week after that, the Japanese ambassador comes and he meets them in the White House and only German, Italian, and Japanese press are invited in. <laughs> and the Americans are locked out. So uh, Trump calls his new friends decisive leaders. I like them. They're decisive. They're strong, not like that crippled Franklin. I like my leaders who can stand on their own without leg braces. <laughs> so he's chatting with the reporters, you know, and he wants to show off. He says, our army's got the best invest the best intelligence. Like, we've even busted your Enigma machine. <laughs> we know all your secrets. Oops, sorry, did I say something wrong? Just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> a few weeks later, Hitler announces a new Trump casino and resort to be built in his new Polish development zone. <laughs> where he promises uh, Trump he will provide a Polish staff for no cost, because we ain't paying them. <laughs> Other great, great deeds of the historical Donald Trump is during when we do finally get into the war, he's going to build the big Normandy Beach Hotel <laughs> so that he can build the military for each one of those soldiers. <laughs> How's my time doing? I think I've done it. Thank you, you very much yeah, yeah, yeah. for this little outburst.